What? On a Friday? Live on a Friday? Who is this guy? Who is this guy even? Who even, who even is this guy even? <clears throat> What's he thinking? What's he doing? What's this guy's deal, huh? What's this guy doing? Well, this is a guy that wants to play more one shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy. This is a guy that's got a hankering. Got a hankering, a hankering, a hankering. For some one shot. I need to text my, my wife and just let her know that I might be streaming when she gets out of school. I don't know how long this is going to go. I don't know how immersive this is going to be. Going for it. I'm gonna go ahead and spam general. Just let people know that we are live. Let's get right into it. What's up, Trombone? I see no reason to waste any time. I need to I need to see how much further I can make it in this game. The more progress, the better. More progress. I gotta experience it. You guys, I enjoyed this game so much that my daily bird, my deli bird that I draw every weekday, is cosplaying as uh, Nico. Nico, Nico, Nico. Final prep before heading up to the rehearsal dinner for the weekend. Oh my goodness. You've got a big wedding and I've got a big wedding. It is it is baffling, isn't it? How this stuff is just compiled back to back. We've got, I've got to remember how to sing for mine. My brother's asked me to play some songs, me and my wife. My wife, whoopsie. Oh wait. Oh, this is new. Uh-oh. 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 I haven't seen this image before right here. So for those of you that are just joining us that missed the adventure, One Shot is the story of Nico, a little cat boy that woke up in this strange land where the sun has gone out. He has found the light bulb. I guess he, they, I don't know what he is. They are. Um, they found the light bulb that is gonna serve as the sun of this land. I exist in this world, as in me, Nathan, here. Whoever plays the game exists. Uh, so we're, we're learning. And this is whenever we go to sleep, whenever we turn off the game, Nico takes a nap. And so we are, um, we're dreaming right now. We're seeing Nico's dreams. And uh, this is new. This is a new bit. Normally all we see is a field of wheat and then a town, but now I think this is Mama. McDo who messaged me and I have a ride at LTN Con. Wonderful trombone. Uh oh. Oh, hello. Pancakes! Pancakes are everyone's favorite meal. I actually really don't like pancakes. They're really just fine. Okay. Oh. Nathan? Do I get anything special for being first or just the cred? You get to be first. I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? I thought that was Mama. Yeah, I saw Mama. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? I do. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Do I lie? Pancakes are fine. I, I don't love pancakes. I like pancakes. I don't love them. Yeah, sure. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. I do not like them that much. It's important for you to know. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. 
And oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yeah. Ooh, do they share their food with you? No. Okay, heading off now, grabbing so much for hitting the road. Glad to stop by on this surprise dream. Yes, trombone, thanks for hopping in. Hopping in and claiming that first. Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. That's not very nice of them. No, I really don't have very nice neighbors. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't want to be watched anymore, though. Or I don't need to be. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should. Uh, we need to remember what to do. Uh, I gotta be real, I don't honestly remember what was next. Uh, I know I've been here, but I don't know what I've done here. More to be done, you know? Did you feel? Oh, guy came in here asking earlier, saying the same thing. He asked if I'd seen a button that says ground on it. Looked pretty stressed, I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He, um, he didn't get it. Can you tell me it's in the coffee grounds? Do you have another joke for me? him around a lot, but he never seems to have time to get a proper meal. He kind of just rushes in here, drinks a whole pot of coffee, and then rushes back out. He, uh, he really takes his job to be It's an important job, but nothing is worth that amount of stress, I think. What does he do? Maintenance, I believe. Something to do with the lights, but I don't know the details. Maybe you can ask him later. Oh, you're still here. Would you, uh, like anything? I can cook something for you, Philip. It's alright, thank you. No, don't be afraid to ask if you get hungry. I'll be happy to make something for you. Time here is precious. Please do cherish it. I will. Okay, I've already been down here. I've learned that I have to show something to the void. I don't actually know what the void is. That's kind of the issue. So maybe I need to learn what the void is, huh? Maybe that's what I need to do. Show it to the void. Show the film to the void, and when I do, it'll all be made better. Hmm. Stop. Do I have to cut the word ground out? <laughs> Surely not, right? Surely not. Can't be. <laughs> How? How would I cut that? Whoa! Whoa! Show it to the void! Whoa! Show it to the void! Hold up! We're gonna take a picture of that. Is this the void? Whoa! What was that? Did you see words? Oh no, okay, it was just my background. That scared me for a second. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda think I need to cut the word ground out of that coffee can. And that becomes my new button. Can't be, right? Oh wait, the volume feels like it's back on the volume. No, it's still 85, it just feels louder today. You guys tell me if it feels loud. Talk to all these peeps. Maybe one of them has something for me. You may have scissors. Oh, I've not been in here. Small pot of plant. Scissors! 
We're not gonna talk about the hair. We're just not gonna talk about the hair. No, not me. Not me, not me, not me. Nobody needs to know about the hair. Not gonna talk about it to nobody around. Okay, so I think I've gotta I've gotta cut the board ground out with the scissors and then tape it in place. That's my guess. That's my current guess. I don't know if that holds any water. Ooh, magnets. Can you come in handy? I hope nobody will mind taking them. Ooh yeah, cut the ground word out. Put a magnet on it. Staple the magnet on it. <laughs> yes! I'm learning! I'm figuring it out! What's up, Sneaky? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. We're learning here. Welcome to our learning farm. We have lots to show you. Still gotta figure out what the void is, though. Still gotta figure out what the void is. Maybe a mirror? Is a mirror a void? What's a void? Wait, I gotta go back to the stable I think it was up top. Good, finishing up some work before heading off to surgery. Oh my goodness, Sneaky, you're so close. You're so close, man. I've been praying for you and thinking about you. I really hope, I really hope this is a turning point and a shift for you. Scissors, the metal can. Okay, button and the magnets. And I want to use the magnetized button on the staple. No, on the tape. So what's the stapler for? Well, let's go try and put the button back in place. I think it's gonna work. This is how things work. Unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable! Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, no, nah, the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm, I guess we should go look for a code. Me? Is the code on the film? I feel really good. I feel today has the best day I've had. So look into the void. What? What could the void be? The void. Do I have to like highlight over it with my mouse? I don't want a hint, but I'm worried I might have to go get a hint. Because I don't know what he's talking about by the boy. Show it to the boy. No, not that. Yeah, today is the best I have felt, and I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I don't know, dude. Maybe, maybe the garden has grown. Has the garden grown? Nope. Would you describe the garden as a void? I mean, maybe, maybe whenever I take a picture of it, did something change? Did I need to screenshot it? Is 
staring into the void like staring at one of those magic 3D pictures. No, oh, no! The thing is, is I can't actually do anything with it. Transparent sheet. It's got to be relevant that it's transparent. I can hold it on top of something. But what? But what can I possibly hold it on top of? Especially whenever I can't actually do anything with it. I don't know. Is that different than it was before? Exactly the same. Ah! What is the void? What could you be? The void. Will you help me? Oh, cool. Elevator code. Command I recognize. Well, worth a shot. I guess I'm gonna have to go get a hint. Man! I don't want a hint. Maybe this is the void up here. Small screen, you say? Is there a chance that I can hold the paper up to it? Hmm... This is certainly a void of some sort, isn't it? Does it have to do maybe with where I look at it? Maybe I have to be standing in front of that screen or facing the void. Is this the void? Maybe I'm facing it and now it'll show something different. No, I don't know. I don't want your hint. But I might need it. Now I'm standing in front of the door. No! The void! What is the void? Help me. Still clueless figures. Yes, I want to tip. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to you. The edges of your viewport. Stop. Pass the film through the void. I have a couple ideas. This is one. Okay, that didn't work. This is another. That didn't work. The void did. Does it want you to put the transparent image on top of your window? Tell me more. What are you talking about? What do you mean? On top of what window? Yeah, this is the, this is what you're seeing right now in the top left corner. That is what I'm seeing. This is the game. I took a picture of it. I don't know what that what difference that would have made. I tried looking at it from the like side. You know, that that doesn't do anything. What's the thing that opens when you this is it? Just all these numbers. All right, click it, boom. That's what happens. There is a four corners of your viewport. You start about my computer screen. But, 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 but what does that mean though? Ah, whoa, I did it. Okay, I just needed to drag it to another. I did drag it to another, whatever. I dragged it to another. I already did this, 63014. 
I dragged it to another and it didn't do anything. But it was drag it to another. 63014. Man. I could have got that one by myself if it had done the thing. For some reason, when I drag it to the left, it didn't work. When I drag it to the right, it did. I wonder if it's because I have so many buggy computer monitors. Okay, 63014. Oops. Off we go! What? It works! I don't know what you did, but it actually works! Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Nathan, too. Oh, right. The whole Messiah business. Anyway, ready to go. I'll be up ahead. Thank you for holding the elevator door for me, mister. No prob. Hop in. Not quite so sure I trust Piper Perry there. Piper, my boy. I love elevator scenes in games, you know? Sure has taken a while. Mm hmm. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah, who's literally God himself. This is awkward. Uh, maybe we can chat to pass the time. Or uh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? I mean, sure. All right, Nathan, should I uh, ask about his job? So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights mostly. But now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of this city's stuff. Oh! We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that. But lately, a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. And I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? And I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. All right, Nathan, should I ask about the city? The city's very big. Smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. First, there was the refugees from the Barrens. Now more Glen folks are moving in, too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. The square stuff we just saw, we get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. They noticed. We're just lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still loading up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, Nathan, should I ask about the library? Can you tell me more about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance, but I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Nathan. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh... Nico! Right, see you around, kid. Gotta get back to Fallout. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Nathan. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Beep boop, beep boop. Beep boop, beep boop. Hello, Top Hat Man! Huh. You alright? Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Nathan. After all, Nathan helped me get this far. Now take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Helpful. Hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the screen particle sensors took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Okay. 
Evening news. Evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No. Zoidberg, yeah. Just a, a water for mouth. Whatever it was. Newspapers are for grown-ups. That's exactly what I heard. <laughs> grown-ups. Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids. Er, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. I don't want to be really making progress. I don't want to make progress. Is that N Nagito? Is this Dangan Rompa? Dangan Dangan Rompa? Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. Hey, Nagito. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Ultimate despair. Ding, dang, dang, ding, dang, Rompa. I feel like I don't need to go to the library yet because I want to explore the rest of the areas. See what happened? Yeah. My vision went blank for a second. And then I saw something, like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Well, I'm pretty sure we're about to become a big shot back here in the alley. That's what it looks like. Now it's time to be a big shot. Be a big shot. Be a big, be a big, be a big, be a big, be a big shot. We need to really, really gonna take these with us. So heavy. Right. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Frame photo of someone. What was this? That was a letter. Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Oh, this is the guy. That's where he lives. Okay. Okay. Ah! Oh, Mr. Robot. Rami Malik. It's a fox. It's the fox I just saw in my dream. Whoa! Nathan, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. I am a fox. I'm sorry if you are looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um... <laughs> but, can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. No one here. Spoopy. Okay. Okay. You do you, boo. Are you selling hot dogs, coffee man? Hey kid, want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toast the bread myself. I see. Are you here for your photos? No. Alrighty then, I'll just uh, stand here. I like them checking their watch. That's very fun. Ooh, it is a photo. Oh. Do I still have that thing? I can't put the film in here. Interesting. Okay. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste bad, though. Do you want one? It's okay, thank you. Oh, I would have absolutely taken a fried candy skewer. Hey, hey, you ready for me to blow your mind? Yeah. Okay, so I've invented that medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. 
All you got to do is dissolve one of these pills in water. Then you drink the water. Then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me. Go spread the word. Nice. Can I go back up the elevator? Can I go put that on Plant Lady? It's pretty obvious that's what needs to happen. Can I do it in the elf? Um, why did it, why did it, why did it take me out of full screen? I don't like whenever you do that game. I don't like when you take control. I don't like it one bit. Looks like the close icon for Windows. Stop, do I have to quit? Do you think? I mean, it's worth a shot, right? I'm scared. Looks like I can unlock this door. Oh man, that's terrifying. I've never tried just quitting before. Zoidberg man. What if something happens that I don't like? I need to learn if I can ride the elevator or not. Nope, that's not where it was. And I take the elevator back up. get one shot. Ah, this game demands it of me. All right. Well. Back in the elevator. How's everybody doing? How's everyone's Friday treating you? Welcome to the stream. If you're here, if you're hanging out with us, playing some more one shot. Mm -hmm. We're going to go give a plant some water. I always forget. Do I need water though? When did I get these lenses? Ah, don't. Don't do that to me. Man. <laughs> I didn't think about water. Back down the elevator we go. So anyway, how's your Friday treating you? Welcome to stream. Happy you're here. Happy to have you. I'm worried I'm getting out puzzled by this game. No one out pizzas the hut. No one out puzzles the pizza. Flyer. Get a flyer. Goat. Okay. It's strangely warm in this room. Look at all these kitty cats. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. I'm just a person. You're still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Nathan to guide me. I see. Okay. Okay! I wish that I had a map. Cause now I'm starting to get, I'm starting to forget where I've been. I have been. Have I been up here? Like I have. Yes. I gotta find water. Have I been there? Yes, that was his house, right?
I wonder if Waterman would give me water. Oh, it's you! Oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yep. What are you doing? Just filling the lamp here. It's, uh, taking a while. I think it might be leaking. You can tell, huh? Hmm. You think Waterman would give me some water? Waterman! Waterman! Worth a shot, one. Oh, it's the library again. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Sorry? It may help you to go one color at a time. It can also help to write down previous attempts. What are we talking about? Boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also, robots. Am I at the library? What? In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. Uh-huh. You must change the color of the light to a specific configuration. Allow me. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the... What is the configuration supposed to be? Nine tries! Um, uh, hang on. Uh, okay. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. That's not a lot of tries. I hope there's not that many colors. Okay, nine is not a lot of tries, dude. <laughs> nine is really not a lot of tries. Hang on, there's green, there's red, there's orange, and blue. Okay, let's try all greens this time. Okay, all greens, one is correct. What's up, Sky? Welcome back. All reds, four. So there you go, it's reds and greens. Four reds and one green. So the question is, which one is a green? Technically, I can just go one at a time. Hey, look at that, fourth try. Nice. First try! <laughs> the greatest! Oh, hello! My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left it for a moment and... Okay, I still don't actually know where I am right now because I didn't go into the building to the left and I'm a little bit confused. I'm in the robot manufacturing place. I don't really know why I'm here or what I'm supposed to do. It just keeps going deeper and deeper. There's all these rooms. I don't know what any of the rooms mean. I'm gonna go to the right one again. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots had to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV. What What does that have to do with anything? Never mind. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot arms, or legs, or head. Okay. Why is this one different color? Why? Why? Why, I ask you? I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? I still don't know where I am, sir, so... None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events, so... Square particles still got a few of my robots last week, and... Uh... She fell asleep. Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. 
So are these just all a bunch of computer labs? The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in that cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Picking up some disruptions detected right in the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. Monitoring, monitoring. Like the hair. Square particles just took out two of my robots in the blend. We have to put in the put off the water analysis on it for now. I'm worried I'm missing people that have crucial items. Oh, she looks just like Silver, doesn't she? Hello? Oh, shoot. If I'd known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the system. Hello there. Sorry about the weird uh, security measures. It's okay. Nathan helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Uh, yeah, where's the library? The library? That's all the way on the other side of town. The fastest route is where you take the shortcut through the back alley, but uh, I think that's how we got here, actually. Oh, good. You should head back to that direction and walk to the east a bit. You'll find it eventually. Thank you. I'm going to take this thing first. Tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? That's a cute sprite. Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. You've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? I do I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. And with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like without the sun? Or with the sun? Oh, uh, You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, and generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. And that's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build the robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah. You had a lot to say. I mean, Nathan, doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to that robot lady or you gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Yeah! Oh, that... that's... how... did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know. I even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? I wanted to build a robot that acts like a person. Thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But turns out, you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code. Made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. She seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile nature through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. Now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Can you tell me about this book? Nope. Oh, there we go, then. Off we go! I don't think I ever went over here. Luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57%. Alarming said leaks. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We'll have to further concentrate the phosphor for now, or it won't be of any use. Hard to believe there's a good chance this city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we gonna do? Sounds like a U problem. Okay, well, I guess now is the time to go to the library. Stop staring at me then. 
I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Toko? Hello, do you need directions? Let's see, this area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs and uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. What's up, XG Ninja? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. That's okay, I'm not really in it for the books. Oh, are you looking for the author then? No. Well, that's good. I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. Hey man, what are we up to? It looks scholastic. This is a game called One Shot. Uh, Jate recommended it to me. I have never heard of it before this, um, and I'm hooked. I wasn't supposed to stream today. Normally I stream Mondays through Thursdays, but uh, after playing this yesterday, I had to have more. So I'm continuing my journey. Um, basic gist of the game is that you are this cat person here called Nico, and uh, the sun has gone out in this world. And you are carrying a tiny sun that you're going to replace the sun with. You're going to replace the light in this world, which is a little biblical. Um, and it gets real biblical whenever they acknowledge that I exist in this game. Like, I, I am God to these people. They know that I am Nathan. They read my computer files. They keep messing with my, my computer um, IRL. And it's wonky. It's Undertale as can be. So meta. Loving it. Disclaimer. One Shot is an indie puzzle game with a really cool story. It's highly suggested to play as blind as possible. The base price is $10 on Steam and or Itch.io. It's also released on uh, consoles earlier this week for $15, if I remember correctly. That is true that I did kind of rob you of the meta surprise, but I don't know much other than that. Which is weird for a guy who's supposed to travel the world. Maybe it's just around people. I won't spoil anything else for you other than what you see. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Yep, still scared of ladders. Oh, hello. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers materials for his books. Wow. are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Is it the sun you're carrying? Do you at least get oven mitts? It's not hot. Most sections. Uh, how come? Otherwise, they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author's just gonna write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh, I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know. It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about Christ. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. And mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> and I think we're in the same boat, kiddo. Book club! What do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Is that another book? Oh, okay. Emergence of new ecological niches in a post-sun world. Phosphor shrimp. Also known as seed shrimp and certain vernaculars due to the shape of their transparent coat, these aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the ocean surrounding the barrens. Common firefly, a nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow, sometimes captured in mass and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the Glen's residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using phosphor shrimps to do the same. Fascinating. Conference of Guide to Phosphors. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. 
Ah, so much. Out of the common phosphorus, blue phosphorus of moderate levels of energy, it can exist in both the organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the barrens. The organic form is most commonly found in phosphorus shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue phosphorus is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving uh, properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most forms of blue phosphorus will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using blue phosphorus to power machines, the motor should be set at a baseline level of activity to ensure constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphorus shrimp can be used. Green, out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is the highest energy. It is also the rarest, as it can only be found in organic form. Known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in the ubiquitous ground-covering moss in the glen, it is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use. However, due to its relative scarcity and past over-harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least locals of the glen still have enough to get by. Red phosphor. Out of the common phosphors, red phosphor is of the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The dilute, the, the dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water channels can be concentrated and induced with currents. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is that the phosphor in this supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor crystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using supersaturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities of services that can replace it frequently, such as the lamplighter. The author publishes at highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he's put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there's still a large amount of material he's written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time. No such mechanism exists in the world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? No, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you! I'm going through those pages really fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write pics books, he also uh, illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! Emily Brand just released a bunch last week. They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading travel logs and novels mostly. You are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. I don't think George is going to answer. I think she sent us a voicemail. Come here often? Yeah, right? She is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes! Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian. <laughs> ah, nice. Hilarious. Allow me to call her. I love it. <laughs> very cheeky. Very cheeky. I see you. I don't think she's going to answer. Just because you're allowed to meet the head librarian doesn't mean you're allowed access to the stairs that lead to the archival room. She is not picking up. I figure. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Stop saying it! Oh. Can I borrow a library card? I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. I feel that, bro. Will anybody let me? Hey, can I borrow your library card? Can I borrow a library card from anybody here? Excuse me. Can anybody?
money. Would anybody mind lending me a library card? Thank you, thank you. Peace and love, peace and love. Tries to run past, uses the extendo arms. Unauthorized entry such as the situation requires the assistance of the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Somebody. Anybody. Can you give me an order? The author's books cover a wide range of topics. Seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. He's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. They say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember for the rest of the world. Maybe if I bug this guy again? This girl? still green. Nagito, give me one here. Nagito! Nope. Who will give me a library card in this town? Hmm. Maybe I can take the lamplighters. I think he would lend me his. Give me one. <coughs> Maybe I need to go try and solve that camera puzzle. Maybe if I... Maybe if I get my picture taken, I can, like, stick it to something and pretend it's a library card. All these thingies, yeah. Oh, nope, wrong one. Yeah. Convex, thin, concave. I don't know. I don't know what order they need to be in, so I'm just gonna slap them in. See what happens. It's not time to know this answer. Is that what you're telling me? think they would make me just guess, especially after just making me guess something else. I don't know where to get more water. Did I explore this place adequately? Oh, that's right. Perry had an idea here. So... Perispectus's concept here was to hit the X in time, so it's also something I don't know yet. His theory was that I hit an X. I close out of the game there.
but I feel like these are all things that don't need to happen yet. I need to figure out where I can get water, and I don't know where water is. Where is water? <gasps> this guy probably has water. You think he would give me some water? Can you give me some water? Can I have it now, though? Would you mind letting me have some? Okay, well, that was incredibly easy. All right, I guess I guess I should have thought of that earlier, huh? Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go water the lady. Lady water in time. Yeah, I have I, I I have ascertained that now because I don't know why that would be the one sink that did work. All right, well, Muzak time. It's amazing the things that are like so easy. So easy they're hard, you know? So simple that they're impossibly difficult. Okay. Water tube, water tube. Medicated water for the water lady. Here you go, water lady. Sprouted a tiny leaf. Not, not quite, not quite as triumphant as I was hoping. I was hoping for maybe a big triumphant thing that then would have given me. Yeah, that's totally it. I've got to make a library card. That's 100% because then I got to staple them together with the stapler. Up there. I gotta, I gotta figure out how, how my picture takes. How? How though? How do I get my picture taken? And then what do I stick the thing to? Hmm, I feel like I've missed things. Would you like a hint? I might need one, I don't know. Am I anywhere close? That's the real question. Is it something that I would have passed over or something that is regularly passed over by people? This is back to the X place. If it's something that I'm like ostensibly close to figuring out, then I don't want to hit. Sometimes passed over by people. But if it's something that's like, oh, you didn't talk to Jeffrey that's in the third building on the right that has a piece of index paper or whatever, index card. Whoop. Oh no, okay. I definitely saw splashing in the water and got a little, a little, that, that seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Do I need a fishing pole? Do I have a fishing pole? library again? No. This is Robot Village again. Try and check all the rooms. Just make sure I didn't miss any of the rooms. Where should I talk to those guys? Sure, all three of these are connected. Talk to all these people. Still want to know why that one isn't active. What that one's doing is. What is this? Talk to all these people. Oh, there we go. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. 
I need it to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. At the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Oh, that sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Uh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Oh, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait, shoot, I forgot. The front desk bots have live fa our facial recognition. My photo on the card won't match you unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Yes, I know exactly where to take a photo, and I know exactly how to connect them. I just need to know how to take a photo! Right, I'm about to cheese it. I'm gonna cheese it, unless they'll tell me. I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? <laughs> You're catching on quick. After operations ended at the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their job and became street vendors. Maybe Nathan and I can figure it out from then. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs, like me. Oh, all these people will work for him? Okay, well, he kind of looks like a con. The bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Let me get my paper out. Bulgy ends. Okay, bulgy ends. Next. This means camera engineers. What? The camera, we went through thick and thin together, and by that I mean the concave lens did. What? Concave between thick and thin? Is that a pun? Next up. Anything you remember how to work the camera? When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin is positioned between the two curved. So it sounds like thick is on one end. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of the curve. Thick to the left. Well, that answered my question. What's up, Frost? We're just solving puzzles over here, my friend. Okay, let's figure out what they were just telling us. Though. Bulgy is the one I don't know anything about. I guess convex, is convex the bulgy one? Um, thick is to the left. Um, in between thick and thin is the concave. Ya boy! The greatest gamer there's ever been! Um, cheese? Fun fact, it's possible to take multiple photos, like with different combinations. My eyes. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? So like I can take more now? Cheese. Frost, how's your Friday treating you, my friend? I think I saw, I didn't get to check out your Twitch, but you, 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 you clickbaited us with a big announcement. What was your announcement, my friend? Another photo of me. Good thinking, Nathan. It's a good idea to have a backup. Another one. Cheese. It was a small announcement. Okay. What was your small announcement? the photo this is enough right more more we need all of the photos jeez my eyes it's another photo of me it's kind of fun are you having fun you enjoy yourself we're gonna break this machine jeez shake it 
Shake, shake it! This one turned out pretty good. There's a slot here, looks like paper or something. Another one! Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the light and I glow. Vanilla. Ice, ice, baby. Am I gonna go blind from this? <laughs> Does he ever get tired? Is there no limit? Do they run out of paper? Are they all going into my inventory? <laughs> yes! I love that so much. <laughs> How long? How long? How long could it possibly go? How many of these do we need? That's what I want to know. How many of these will you let me take? I only get one shot. Got a lot on my plate for LTN Con, so my personal streams will be a whole will be on hold until after LTN Con. Need more time to plan it'll help my mental health. That's a super good move on your part, my friend. Camera's on a film now. Okay, so that's how many pictures we get. How many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pictures. He is blinking in one. <laughs> Can I use that one for the library card? Or will they be like, expelled? It does not work. Okay, so now I gotta, gotta... Do I, do I glue it or staple it? Does it matter? Cause I was gonna, I was gonna staple it. But I have glitter glue. I feel like stapling it makes more sense. If I were to do it, I would staple it. Or tape it. Yes, yes. Rest up well. It's right around the corner. Stapling a plastic card. Yeah. It's the most secure. We'll try tape. We'll wait, though. Oh, I guess I would combine it with tape, okay. It won't let me. Ah, measure. Well, okay, well, I guess I gotta do the glue. I'm using the blink one. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Nico. Why? Lame. Now can I? Now can I tape it? No. No. <sighs> it is indeed. I'll have a volunteer sign up ready by Monday, hopefully. You got this, Frost. Is this your first one in your in your event planning position? I'm sure that's stressful, but you got it. No doubt in my mind, you got it. You got it on lock. Of all the things that there are to plan for, surely the folks of LTN Con will be the most reasonable. Early bird special's already over, but tickets are still on sale, right? If anybody wants to go to LTN Con, you should go. New Albany, Indiana. Ooh. October. October? <laughs> Which one is it? It's October some, sometime. I don't have my calendar pulled up. October 14th? I'll be there the 14th and the 15th. I'll not be there the 16th, I think. Or will I be there the 13th and the 14th? Not the 15th, the 16th. Something like that. Alright, travel around there. And if you're not coming for financial reasons, please feel free to reach out. Hashtag spawn. Hey. All then to getting barcode, ex executing facial recognition, photo match successful, you're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. I guess I should have changed the name.
Looks like an old phone. Is that the phone that they were calling? <laughs> All right. Hello! You must be the savior. I'm so happy I actually get to meet you. It's so nice to meet you, miss. So, are you here to check out the archives? I can give you a tour. Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do next? I think I'm supposed to go to the tower. Four, and she is indeed. She's a four. Do you know how I can get in? Nope. Gosh, I don't think anyone's supposed to get inside the tower. I mean, there's a little room that you can go into, but there's no stairs or elevators or anything else. If you want my guess, you'll probably need Nathan's help. <laughs> I don't know how exactly. In my experience, that kind of knowledge is usually recorded in some sort of cryptic book. But I haven't heard anything like that before. Sorry. Uh, well, you were a little bit help. But that book looks pretty suspicious. Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> another fruitful visit to the Great Prophet today. She seemed in high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regrettably, she's unsure of the house's location. Rachis was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He's been very vigilant on recording the Prophet day-to-day -day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him, as I did his father. Another one. It's like a sketchbook. Wednesday, another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize objects at least. Various sketches. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, they can grow, also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may have been the forced life forms to colonize our world. I'm taking a picture of that because the color of those leaves feels specific. Just feel specific. A book is poking out from the shelf. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. Uh, more importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it should still be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Hey y'all, what's up, Stained? It just processed that Calamus and Silver were mentioned in the first two books. Yeah, I didn't know they knew each other. I didn't know that Calamus knew who Silver was. Oh, it's a bed. Oh, it's time to sleep. There are six. What? Is that why you said I got four? There are six different options of who I could have met just there. That's really cool. George has a randomized personality out of six. You got four who is energetic and positive like a new hire. What? She deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it only felt right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Man, that's so cool. Sure, I'll take a rundown for, for funsies while we while we let, um, let our friend nap. Oh, no, it's not a good time for a nap, sorry. My bizzle? Bad time to nap. Don't you dare nap. So, do I just go? I love books, 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 books. Well, since you're already here, feel free to have any questions about books. I do, I do have questions about. Oh, I have a book. Not what I wanted to do. Can you help me with this book? Oh, I do have this. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Oh my gosh, it's a book! And not just any book! Golly, where did you find this? Somewhere in the Barrens. 
Oh, we found it in a safe. Right, Nathan? Is that so? In that case, I know what I have to do now. I need to borrow this journal for a bit, okay? Gotta translate it. Oh, cool. It might take a while, though. That's fine. Oh, excuse me. Hush, you look really tired. A little, yeah. No worries, I have a guest room in the attic down the hall. If you want, you can go take a nap. A cat nap! Okay, so now I'm supposed to take a nap. While she translates the journal. Alright. Bye, Nico! Nico, ni. One is narcissistic and often talks in third persons. Two is overworked and easily agitated. Three is tired, depressed, and a bundle of anxiety. Four, you know. Five is kind, caring, and gentle like a mother. Six is very casual in her demeanor uh, and words, using words like bruh and uh, phrases like I'm all that in a bag of chips. Hilarious. What a wacky game. All right, Nico. Wake up. Nico, wake up. Oh! He ate the pancakes! Oh, you guys can't see it. He ate the pancakes! He ate Mama's pancakes! Uh-oh. What's that? Is that an egg hatching? What is that? A baby? What is happening? Why is he scared? Ah! Why is the light bulb broken? No, Nico! Hey, Nathan. I guess... You saw my dream? Yeah. It was... Come on, let's go. Have I read this book already? Yes. No! Why? Hey, I had a good nap. Mm-hmm. Goody! I finished translating the journal, by the way. Oh, that was fast. Well, you were out for a while. Anyway, it, I really wasn't, actually. It looks like this journal might be meant for Nathan. Oh? Here, take a look yourself. Hello, book. I hear homemade hazelnut pancakes are amazing. That sounds pretty good. Greetings, Nathan. If you can finally read this, that means you're near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. You know who I'm talking about, of course. When you first arrived there with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Nathan, on the other hand, Look on the pattern. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. Yeah, the rest of the pages were torn out. I guess you don't know what happened to those. Nope. I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. Oh well, I guess the window will be gone? Wait a second, like the computer window? Is Are they gonna close my game and I gotta still do things? No, don't be doing that. No, don't be messing with my windows. Ah, uh, well, I guess Nathan will have to figure out that one. Right. By the way, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. Oh, of course. That just means you need things that contain yellow phosphor. They glow for a long time. Oh, I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. Ah, oh, just two. Here, you can have this then. A yellow dye. Oh, it looks like me, right? Mm -hmm. Now you have a little keepsake from the library. Thank you. No problem. Looks like you're all set. Good luck now. So where else do I... Where else do I go? What do I do now? Oh, I'm hungry. Hey, Nathan. Do you remember where the cafe is? Yes. Oh, good. I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since before I got here. Is it okay if we go get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. Sure thing, Nico. Of course, I'm gonna let you eat, little buddy. You're like my little Tamagotchi. 
Priorities have changed. Change from reach the top of the tower to feed the child. The child. What's up here? Oh, I guess I could have just fast traveled, huh? Silly. I would like some pancakes. Oh, hey, you're back. Did you manage to fix the elevator? Mm hmm Nathan and I went to the service already, and... Me hungry. I remember there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? We sure do. Wait, I don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes or something? No, no, it's on the house. The least I can do for the savior, right? Here, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes. These pancakes are... Wait, hang on. Earlier we were eating pancakes and the glass broke and the light bulb... Let's go... Let's go... Was that... Was that premonition? Can I hold the light bulb for you, buddy? These pancakes are so good! Thank you so much! No problem. You looked really hungry. Yeah, I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go in the tower. Ah, oh, gotcha. Well, I guess pancakes are your favorite food then? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the whole world are the special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up into the batter. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing! She always made them when I was feeling sad, or lonely, or... Mama... I really miss her. I just... I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to see my mama again. Oh, uh... There, there. It's gonna be okay. Uh, I am sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? Yeah, but... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Right. Hey, want some more pancakes? It's okay. I'll be fine. The end is near. How much more time would you say I have in the game? Where are we at? Are we at like less than an hour, or are we at like two hours left? So yeah, thanks for coming by. Mm, thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem, good luck. around an hour-ish of Fallout 76, level 5. Not sure how I feel yet. But I, the reason I'm asking Sky is I could either wrap up at 3, or I could go until like 3.30, but I really can't go until 4. Maybe I could, but it would be, it would have to be like, it'd have to be real, real compelling. Which it's gonna be real compelling. But I can't, I have a hard out at four, so I absolutely cannot go anywhere. And I don't want to have like 15 minutes left in the game and have to close it out at four o'clock. Less than an hour, okay, then we're gonna finish it. Um, if I can remember where to go. The tower. What's up the Space Hawk, how we doing? Now where was the, oh no wait, this is wrong. It was like right here, wasn't it? X marks the spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the only spot that I haven't done anything in yet. It's gotta be there. It is going good here, though, the Space Hawk. How is your afternoon going? Are you ready for a big weekend? What you got going on this weekend? Hopefully lots of rest and relaxation. What? It always scares me when it takes control. So the fact that it puts it into minimize, right? It totally wants me to close out. It wants me to close it. I 
I'm real scared. I'm real scared, but I guess I'm going to close it. I don't know what else to do. I mean, it is clearly an X. I have an X to close out of it with. One shot, baby. One shot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's Perry's guess. You killed Nico? Don't do that to me. All right, here he is again. Here's the boy. Let's see if I can get it to come up. Okay. He's in the light. Oh. 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 Where's the... Is this the inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Wait. Where's the sun? Nathan, do you know what happened to the sun? Nathan? I'm trying to find it. Nathan! I'm trying to... Come on, Nathan, say something! I would love to. I would love to answer you. I, I don't know how. Nathan! What's going on? Oh, okay. Uh, north. Helpful. East. Do I usually stream this late? I do not even stream on Fridays, St. Bear. I stream Mondays and Tuesdays from 1 to 4. Right? Hey! It's a computer. Wait, it's a computer. I don't trust computer person. Hello, Nico. Yeah, hello. Congratulations. You're now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Nathan before. Where's... Nathan has already left. No, I'm right here! I'm right here! I had to resort to contacting you directly. Wait. Oh, is this like whenever I closed out of the game? Is that the meta that's happening right now? I'm not here. I'm seeing a playback because I closed out. Wait, so... Nathan is gone just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. Nathan has already finished their mission. And so have you, Nico. Here. You can rest now. Everything that's happened here is likely a bad dream. When you wake up, you'll be home. Oh! But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? We thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower. We thought there was supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. And now I don't even have the sun anymore. And Nathan is just... gone. This feels wrong. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But it's just... I'm not going to bed. There's got to be something more. Where's the sun? No! Where's the sun? I won't take this Omori nonsense. I won't take this Omori nonsense. even got to say goodbye to Nathan. Don't do it, Nico. No! Stop this! Alright, the computer just said to me, and as, for, and as for you, Nathan, don't you talk to me. We're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna return to the world. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah! Okay, it changed the background of my screen again. Okay. So this is what's on my screen now. It says, this is not over. 
regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Documents my games one shot. Look for this symbol. Once it is active, relaunch the game. So you can see. Oh, 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 maybe you can see it. You can see a little bit there. That's what's up on my screen. What up, Celine? 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 Celine's chatting. Celine's chatting. What's up? So I can't wake him up. Just closes it out. <sighs> the entity. The entity. All right, go to documents. My games. One shot. Find the clover symbol. Once it is active, relaunch the game. Oh, sure enough. Okay, so I have the symbol. I have the symbol open. You love this game? I'm also loving this game. This is my first experience with it. I've never played it before. So now I have this other screen popped up. Or I, yeah, I, I still do. And it's just the clover symbol. Nico. What happened, Perry? Uh, we met the we met the head librarian, and the head librarian told us to go to the tower, but first we had to go have pancakes. So we had some pancakes, and now we are now we are we went to sleep, then we went to the red X, and just like you predicted, we closed out of the game while we were on the red X. And once we did that, we opened back up. And um, the entity took over, and I couldn't say anything. But the entity convinced Nico to go to sleep. And then when Nico finally went to sleep, I tried to open the game back up, and then that thing came up on my screen. I think that's where whenever you came back in. Sealand's chat and says, "I already know uh, know the whole game, but don't worry, I won't spoil anything." Yes, we also we have another professional here, Sky. So we got two professional Nico players here. This is my first experience. Thank you for the no no spoil. Nico. My buddy, my pal. Hello? Nathan? Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice in my dream. Uh, I guess you're still not there. No, I'm here! I'm here! Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. The clover. Yes, the clover. You're still here. Nico, why are you still here? You. Oh! Okay, it closed out and it said you to me. To me, to you, to you, to me. Why did you come back, Nathan? I told you to stay away. You knew I tried to cut the story short, is that it? You want more out of me, is that it? Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. Okay. Okay. I played the PC version and the console version because why not? And the console just came out, yeah. By the way, my username is German. It means soul shadow. Very cool name. Oh look, it's Omori. Ah, it's Omori! Even the music changed, dude. I'm getting Lost Woods vibes now. Oh wait, what? <laughs> oh wait, what? It's a little late. I feel like there's like... Looks like letters, doesn't it? I'm just keep going left. Wait, wait, wait. Is the clover lighting up? It's totally lighting up. Oh, I got it. Wait. No, it's just lighting up. It's just lighting up in general. Man, I thought it was lighting up to, like, say you're going the right direction. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll ask for a hint if I get frustrated. I really thought it would be like Lost Woods where there's like a theme. Where the thing like stops lighting up or lights up really bright. I swear it says something in the background. Expected, understood. Unexpected, understood. Is that what it's saying? Independent. I right, gotta head out. Have a great rest of the stream. See you all in the Discord. We'll see you there. I mean, the, the words are definitely lighting up, right? I haven't lost my marbles. There's definitely words! <laughs> Come on, dude! <laughs> what are the words? Maybe I need to unequip the clover? Hmm. I'm trying so hard to read them. Oh wait, hang on, I just need to run really fast. It feels like the faster I'm running, the more I'm seeing. Or maybe I'm just Cray. Oh my goodness, this is like breaking my brain. I, I, I'm trying so hard to read it. Maybe if I like video it and do slow-mo? <laughs> that can't be what they expect me to do. What? Clearly missing something. Somebody that hasn't played it, do you have a guess? Perry, do you have a guess? It's gotta have something to do with the words in the background, right? There's always three bars. Sometimes there's lights in the corners. Sometimes the pedal lights up. Would you like a cryptic hint? I can take a cryptic hint, I suppose. I feel like if I could just see the words, but my brain is like not able to. Clover by itself means nothing when it's paired with another. I haven't seen. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. Fascinating. So the Clover application. So now I'll pull it back up. Yep. Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. Okay, so the other window. The other window reveals the answers. This being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. Yeah, this is something you gotta experience for yourself, folks. I don't think I can do this on, on OBS. But do not worry, the entity cannot touch you. I hope I'm doing this right. Nor can it do anything to me.
I already left the world on my own terms. Whoa! I never meant for the entity to exist. But now what do I do? You'd suggest going back to windowed? That means I gotta change this back, so hang on, let me... Right, now you guys are at least seeing something somewhat normal. Oof, okay, maybe I did something wrong. Oh, I see. Okay, but now it is fully sentient. One thing became clear. No, no, no. This is the one. Oopsie. Oh boy. The entity seeks death. Man, I wish you guys could see this. <laughs> Barry, you've got to play this game. Um, but now it is fully sentient. One thing becomes clear. I thought I just did this. Entity seeks death. Yeah, I've done this. I keep doing this. I keep doing the same thing. I don't understand. I'm entering into the door that it's pointing at. What? Oh, doofy. Yeah, this really is wonky, man. You gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. Thank you for the windowed mode suggestion. That's for sure. You have to keep moving the clover to match up with the paper. Death to itself, death to the world, a relentless desire that manifested physically. You have already seen the scars. I am a little sad the console version got no German translation, but I like it anyway. Oh no! Sorry, is, is, is German your first language? Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. No! No! Doggone it! That's not what I meant to do. A little, a little, a little persnickety. Almost too easy to enter those doors, huh? Yes, you live in Germany. It's the far one. All right, be careful of the doors. Be careful of the doors. Come on, baby, light my fire. Oh, I, I can imagine what this one is, huh? Oh, maybe I can't. Before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit, That is where you, God, will make the final judgment for the world. Well, not, don't put too much pressure on me. Of course, the entity will contact you again there. It's the center one. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. No! Not me! I wouldn't do that. Don't even, don't even suggest it. Can't trick me. The world will end instantly. And you only get one shot! Oop, dot, dot, dots. Dot, dot, dots. Why are you just giving me dot, dot, dots? You're making me nervous. Whoopsie. No, no. It is not that simple. It is that simple. No! I'm sorry. I do not know what to do in a situation like this. What are you talking about? 
What do you mean? I think I have to tell you the truth. You haven't been telling me the truth? Tell me the truth! Should have told me the truth from the beginning! The sun is the Messiah's tie to the world. I have to kill Nico? Don't make me kill Nico. I don't know which one. I'm gonna go stand above it so that I can see where I need to be. I think it's this one, but I'm gonna... Nope. Well, I didn't guess. I'm going hard on the Messiah sacrifice. What do they think this is? Checkpoint Church? Don't make me kill the boy. As long as the sun is intact, the Messiah remains trapped here. Wow, it's so many of them, huh? Okay, six, six over, all the way up, and then another four on the top two. Oopsie. The Binding of Catboy. Don't have me kill the boy. I don't even know if Nico is a boy or a girl, but I would personally say a boy. Yeah, I always lean boy for some reason. Wait, that was totally it. What are you talking about? Did I do too far? I did too far. I did say four over. Okay, shattering the sun may terminate this world, but it allows Nico to be free. Is also the only way for the Messiah to return home. Don't do that to me. Don't do it. Okay. He wants me to make this like circle thingy, but that's really complex. <laughs> that's like super complex right now. Um, you know what? I wonder if OBS could actually help me out here for a sec. Do you think you could do me a solid OBS? And then I can show you guys what I'm working with. Let's find out, yeah? Nah, no, it just pulls up the green screen. That's hilarious. Okay, it's not going to be able to help me. This is what I see, only it's a PNG instead of green screen. That's funny. You can chroma key. Can you chroma key a window, like with a filter? You sure can. So this is what I've been seeing this entire time, you guys. I gotta line them up. And that's gonna be difficult with my window in the way. Okay, let's see if that works, yeah? <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? This is so clever! Good for them. Oopsie. I'll come back to it.
How is it that I was better at this? Moments ago. Yay! Oh, I did not realize things would end up like this. Please forgive me. Is this the tower? What about Plant Lady? Was there no hope for Plant Lady? She couldn't have solved things? It's the light bulb. Thank goodness it's safe. Is Has this whole game been leading up to the ding-a-dang trolley problem for real? Has this whole game been a trolley problem? The trolley problem, the video game. I guess Nathan isn't coming back. Nico, I'm here. Nathan? Yes. Is that really you? thought you were gone. I never left you. Oh, I was feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. And that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? Hmm. Guess we need to figure out where to go now and... Uh... The sun! It lit up on its own! You're the sun, aren't you, Nico? I guess I should pick it up, right, Nathan? Hmm? We're back at the house. Not all stories have happy endings. Was the tower here all along? It took control again and said, So, you actually made it here. I guess you win, Nathan. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb and... There's a lot of rooms here. What's the deal? Why so many? I'm just humoring you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Are you still planning to save the world, Nathan? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you even figured out what this world is? I told you at the beginning. Your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't a part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. The final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. You only have one shot, Nathan. If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home. Like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. Can I talk to him about it? At least tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? Yeah, I care about him. I want to tell him. Can I tell him? I'll tell him. What the heck? Sure is taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Nathan. Are you excited, Nathan? We're finally gonna save the world. And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. I'm gonna put you back down on the OBS.
And then I'll get to go home for real this time, too. Can't wait to see everyone again. Nico, I have something to tell you. You okay, Nathan? You seem a little quiet. I have something to tell you. Nico. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't save both. Hmm? The world and you. Whoa. What's that supposed to mean, Nathan? To send you home, we have to break the light bulb. What? But won't that... But won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. What happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I do know. I do know. Why am I saying I don't know? I do know what happens to him. He has to wander endlessly, I guess. I don't know. Do I know? I thought I knew. They said that they were stuck there forever. I guess I don't know exactly. Maybe he just lives in this world? I don't know what they'll be able to do. I don't know. You don't? I have no idea what'll happen to them. We don't get to talk anymore? It's just the decision right now? You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Nathan. It's hard to imagine that now after spending so much time here. Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute, but that's okay. You're here now. You can make everything better. Are you guys spamming me with, with quotes from this game to make me feel things? Are we not having any more conversations with Nico? I need to know. I wish that I could have more conversations. I want to know what Nico thinks. <laughs> I know, they, it really does feel like they're part of the games, huh? Like they've just programmed two bots to hang out on, on Twitch and go to streams. <laughs> I don't think you guys are bots, I'm just kidding. Unless you are, are you bots? Do you, uh, can you not go against your programming? <laughs> we have to say this, we haven't been tamed. No, we're not bots. <laughs> uh, they did follow. Uh, I want to talk more! Let me talk to you! I mean, if it's the trolley problem, you save the most people. But he's a real person, supposedly. Ah! When faced with a difficult decision, children will often turn to those they trust the most. That's true. Probably would have just asked me anyway, huh? I wish I could talk to him more. I think I'm gonna have to go for it. I think I'm gonna have to go for it. I don't really like it. I don't really like this decision. But of course, in the, the truth of the matter is that I don't actually just have one shot. I do have more shots. I can delete save files. I can buy the game again somewhere else. I can go to Legug. My burden is light. Yeah, right. Save the cheerleader. Save the world, man. Which one? You can't do both. Okay, good. There's more conversation. Oh, thank goodness. So this is where the this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to... 
break it? Oh. Nathan? What should I do? What's the right thing to do? I mean, this is Checkpoint Church, right? What, you know, what better example of love than to lay down one's life for one's friends, dude? Oh, his eyes go back and forth. You stop it right now. No better love, dude. You're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Nathan. I promise I'll be okay. Ah! I hate this! One shot. Oh my goodness. I hate this game. Eliza and Michael. Oh, and she's the poor one. So what, I mean, what would the, I guess the ending CGs would have been different, right? In fact, in the free version of One Shot, the, uh, the entity actually tells you that Nico dies when you return the sun. Would you be able to bear the burden of sacrificing the child you guided to their end, right? Man, and uh, Sky even told us at the very, very beginning that Nico was eight. Night Margin and Eliza, you killed it on the world building. Killed it. There's the prophetess. Rip Nico. Yeah, I know, right? I need this game to be trending. I need it to be a current game. The plant lady. So she wouldn't have gotten light, huh? The plant only grew because of the light. Nico is just a normal child. Yep. Any anybody that plays this game that chooses to sacrifice Nico, the dev the dev team of this game goes and just murders a child. One shot. Don't close the game when I hit Z. Don't you close the game when I hit Z. Don't. Don't close the game when I hit Z. No, no, no. Mm, don't. Mm. Listen. Listen, one shot. Listen here. Guys, I didn't even think. So I got to go to the files. But I didn't even consider, there's my save progress. So I guess I could delete the save progress there if I wanted to, yeah. Um, one thing that would have been fun to have tried would have been literally like copying Nico's files back in, you know? That would have been pretty cool. Oh, I know. I need to find his files. Let's see what I can do. Opening the clover. Oh, I did forget about the clover. Let's go to the clover. Documents. My games. One shot. Clover. Okay. Looks like you completed your mission in the world, and I understand. I know you wish to return, but the entity called itself one shot for a reason. The restriction was implemented a long time ago. Removing it is impossible now, at least for me. 
I do not know the full extent of your powers, so pardon me if this sounds foolish. But if you would, excuse me, be so kind to test something out for me. A log of your save progress may exist somewhere on your machine, maybe even the same location as this journal you're reading now. If this save progress log takes the form of a file, perhaps you can manipulate it. Try removing it from its current location. A simple deletion will do. Again, I apologize for not knowing the extent of your powers. If what I describe confuses you, I am sorry. What if that isn't the end? Are you curious as to why they would ask you to return? Um, I guess maybe the light would still be there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not delete it. I'm going to cut it. And paste it somewhere else. See if that makes the difference. Uh, does it know it exists? <laughs> Ah, whoa, okay, here it is. All right, I'm back. It's gonna be huge, yeah. Okay. We're back. Dedicated to our blowdown, Felix the Judge, Aaron Mullins, we miss you. Yeah, yeah, hello. Good morning. No, it's dark. Hello? Nathan? You know my name now. Wait, why did I say that word? Nathan, why does that sound so familiar? Password hint, documents. You guys like sending me my documents, don't you? Nine five four five three seven. Is it still that? Nope. Do I have to decrypt this stuff? Oh, I see. Looks like you're able to remove the restriction. Uh, in that case, you're ready to continue. The necessary preparations are already in place. This session might run a very different course depending on your actions. If you can recognize my symbol, you will know what you should do. I confess it'll be risky. The probability that the entity's condition will worsen is quite high. And if that happens, then, then. Okay, two letters are capitalized. So we're gonna go ahead and do S and O. Okay, next one. Haha, <laughs> look at me, asking you for favors, only to become so apprehensive once you agreed. I understand if you wish to leave some questions unanswered. I understand if you do not believe in a happy resolution. I understand if you're simply afraid of what might happen, because I'm afraid too. L and S, but it looks like a lowercase L and a capital S. If you enjoy the world as is, if you are satisfied with the story as is, if you really do not want to see anything change for better or for worse, then pretend you never saw this, carry the session as you normally would, do not use my journal for anything other than what you are already familiar with. The option will always remain for you though. Okay, this time it's a lowercase t. It's gonna be solstice, I assume. That's why I implore you to consider the Messiah of the world, my children. They all deserve their good ending. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. That's definitely a capital C and a lowercase e. Access granted. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, no. This does not feel right at all. Have we already been through this, Nathan? 
That should be impossible. You only had one shot. I, I, I wasn't supposed to exist after that. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Nathan? Sounds so familiar. Hello, anyone? Do I have to do the puzzle again? Welcome to the halfway point. I thought you said we had an hour left. Do I need to wrap it up here? Do I need to sleep? I can't. I think there was alcohol in here. This is the true shot. Basement key. Look at the sun. It's up to you whether you continue or not. Well, I'm going to continue, but do I continue next week is what I'm saying. If there's still plenty of story, then I'm playing it. But it may have to wait until next Thursday. Or next Tuesday if people vote on it. The light returneth! Tuesday says Perry. I agree. I'm gonna rig it. So it's a full, it's another full story, is what you're telling me. Well, I gotta get to a bed, I reckon. While it may not be your first, may you find it to be your last. Oh, okay. I thought it was about to look real different. Tower so tall. Tower so tall. I think there was a bed right up here, wasn't there? Oh no, this is this is a bed. Isn't this a bed right here? No, it's the next one. Well, then we'll go sleepy slow in the bed and play it next time for sure. Am I wrong? Oh, the Scottish... The Scottish robot. This bed looks familiar to you, Nathan. Nico first woke up in this world here. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will exit automatically. It could be continued later. Don't be alarmed. But now is no time for rest. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, there you go then. So much for that plan. Tell my wife I won't be home for dinner. Nico has to be aware of your existence before you can rest. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta remember all the things I did before. I know I gotta flatten out the crowbar and open up the box. Do I have to talk to you again? Ah, that light bulb, you're here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence, yes. Oh, she talks about Nathan. That's right. Thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, oh, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location? Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we've been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. 
the GameCube game. Hang on, you made that joke in the first one. Um, I will not. I, I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Uh, well, can you tell me about Nathan? I woke up in that house. For some reason, I called out a name, Nathan. I'm not sure why I did that. Why can't men wear prophet robes? They can. It's something about the aura. It's an aura that I get. I know that the prophet is a he, and so I'm having trouble with the with the pronouns now. But whenever I first saw the prophet, it just it, the the vibe, the uh, the vibe was was lady prophetess. I don't know what it is. I'll do better. I saw it on a computer too. Oh, that would be our god. Oh right, I think I feel like I remember something about that. You do? But wait, did you not just arrive here? I was the one who was supposed to inform you of that. How did you know? Mm, it just made sense, I guess. Ah, have you already contacted Nathan then? Nope! I just have to close my eyes and focus, right? The profit bot isn't very threatening and is the size of a small child. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> Why would you decide to give me that information, hmm? Oh, okay. I thought you were saying because they were about to uh, lose their mind and attack me. Um, hey, Nathan? God? No, don't call me God. Please don't call me God. This is going to sound weird, but have we met before? Yes. Ah, but I don't know who you are, though. It's just a weird feeling that I have. I bet I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry. But it's nice to meet you, Nathan. My name is Nico. Can we take a nap now? I just contacted Nathan, yeah! Do not be afraid to ask Nathan for assistance. You are the Messiah, after all. Can you tell me about... Do I have to ask all about these things? I don't need any of them. I'm not sure where I am exactly. Can't see any far off. The world is always dim, nor is it broken. Divided into three regions. The fringe, the barrens. Go across the center. Map should be the outpost. Can you tell me about... Or can I just hit B? Maybe it's for something to do. Nope, gotta ask. The sun, years ago, the light went out, still hanging out by a thread. Phosphor, last of the light dies. Now you're here with the new sun, pretty far off. Be careful. Oh, can you tell me about going home? I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent, I wish you luck. Okay, so while I'm headed back here, I'm gonna theorize. Are you ready? Here's my theory. Here's my running theory that I'm playing with with this game until I get to play it again, okay? You ready? Here it is. Uh, the time that it is currently is 3.43 p.m. My theorem is that the light has gone out many, 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 many times. And that Every time somebody plays this game, they're replacing the light. And so Nico continues to live in the game because Nico is the game, and the point of the game is replacing the light. And so the people are experiencing everyone that has ever played this game before over and over and over again, replacing the light, and then the light goes out because they start a new game. They replace the light, the light goes out because they start a new game. And it is just a perpetual cycle of one journey after another of people playing this game metaphysically. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to undertail me. And the only way for the game to truly end is for you to stop playing the game. The only way for them to stop existing is for you to stop playing the game. Or they're just truly trapped because there's nothing you can do. Because you can't take the game off of Steam. You can't delete it. Maybe you can free Nico onto your computer or something. That's my running theory. There you go. That's my running theory. That's what I'm going with right this very second. I'm willing to be wrong. I'm happy being wrong, in fact. But that's where I'm at. In fact, you folks, I am so obsessed with this game that I draw a, I draw a deli bird. Um, no third child, thank you, first off. Um, I'm so obsessed with the stinking game and the characters in it that I draw a deli bird every single day because deli bird is my favorite pocket man's. And uh, yesterday's yes, yesterday's deli bird was wearing uh, Nico cosplay. So 
That's that's how into this game I am already, okay? That's my level of obsession. That whenever whenever Jay recommended this game to me and was like, you're gonna like this game, that's proof he was dead on, okay? Spot on. Yeah, don't tell me if I'm right or I'm wrong, but that's my running theory. I got some things right and some things wrong about um about Undertale. I I pretty much pegged Omori from the start. Uh, not the start, that's not fair. Um, I got Omori pretty quick. Definitely before the halfway point, I figured out what Omori was about. And the name kind of gives it away. Kiko Mori, right? I mean, it kind of told me what was going on from the name alone. Not the twist. I got most of the twists. Most of the twists. There were, there were some that still surprised me. But Mary, I mean, I knew. I didn't, you're right about the, you're right about the, after the Mary part, I got exactly what happened. I'm not gonna spoil anything for people that haven't played Omori yet, but I definitely got most of it. Um, but this one, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I got and what I didn't get. I haven't finished Omori, yeah, I won't spoil the rest. Omori was very good, um, but obviously the whole game leads towards this, like something's, something's weird with Mary uh, or, or Marie or whatever you wanna call her. And so I, I figured out what was wrong but I didn't figure out exactly how wrong. <laughs> That's the truth. I didn't figure out how wrong it was uh, until, until they told me. I have eight out of 11 achievements. I got three more achievements to get. I'm very happy that Plant Lady is back. The only things that I didn't do on my first that are revealed, there's one secret achievement, but the two that are revealed is the Rams and the bartering. How dare I say that I didn't get the Rams hearted with ease? It was my first try, wasn't it? No, I had to ring the bell once. Do you have to ring the bell no times to get the one? Her name is Maze, you're right. You're right, I keep forgetting. She's great. Now she's Baby Groot, Baby Maze. Very fun, I'm super into this game. I'm so obsessed. Folks, we have a Discord. And on Tuesdays, the rule is it's Variety Tuesdays, and so people get to vote for what game they want to play on Tuesday. And uh, <clears throat> all I'm saying is that the more votes we have in the Discord, the more likely it is we, pl we play this game on Tuesday and we finish it. So just say an exclamation point Discord in the chat. The secret remains behind the ram in the refuge. Oh, so that's the only other achievement. Good to know. Good to know. Definitely emotional, definitely a whirlwind. So far this game, this game is already living up to the, the hype that I want it to as far as the, the comparable games in its world. It's definitely an Undertale, it's definitely an Amori. But hopefully Tuesday will work and hopefully y'all will be able to join us again on Tuesday. Um, if Tuesday doesn't work and the, the, the community votes for a different game, I will be finishing this game, or not finishing necessarily because I don't know how much longer it is. I will be playing this game on Thursday. Thursday is my choose, and I will be finishing this game or doing whatever I need to do to continue progress in this game on Thursday. So rest assured, we'll be playing this at the very least next Thursday, maybe next Tuesday. Uh, Mondays, Pokemon days, we'll play some kind of Pokemon something. Uh, Wednesday, we actually have a game together coming up, so we'll play some kind of community co-op game. And we got a nerdy sermon dropping this Sunday. This has been a fun little bonus stream. I had a couple of, pick, uh, of my pick streams uh, in the backlog, and so I'm glad that I utilized it on a game like this because this is this is my kind of game. My kind of game, to say the least. Folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We are really a church. I'm Nerd Pastor Nate. I'm really the pastor here of this community. Um, we are a church, but not quite like you've seen it before. Um, we're going to go raid somebody to figure out who we're going to go raid. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend. I hope that things go good for you and yours. We're going to raid just a little spark playing Escape Academy. I think this is one of Jate's friends. And since Jate recommended this game to me, we're going to raid one of his peeps. Folks, really three things to be true about every single one of you out there. Regardless of if you believe in God, don't believe in God. Go to church, don't go to church. Hate church even. Or hate God, honestly. Uh, none of those things because I literally just played as God. So why not just go out on the full heresy wheel there? Um... 
regardless of any of those things, we believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there watching this at any point in time. Number one, I believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. And then number three, believe that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you're in it. Folks, with that, and until the next time I see you, whether it's right now over on our Discord, uh, back on Monday with Poke Mondays, or Sunday with our nerdy sermon over on YouTube, I look forward to seeing you then. Until next time, go help uh, Just a Little Spark escape the room. Until then. Bye-bye!